Hi folks, I've had lots of requests to get back doing some steampunk tutorials, so I thought I'd do another steampunk animal. This time round it's a steampunk dog. Um, it's quite a long tutorial, it's got a few little intricate details in there but it's not too hard. Um, feel free to pause if you need to as always, and as always remember to like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm gonna sort of make it up as I go along this one. Um, let's begin with a circle, as is often the case. Just a nice big round circle like that. And then I'm gonna bring a line going across to there. And then we're gonna bring one going down and around and down there. And then do a circle inside that one. And then I'm going to shade that little part in there. Just to make this kind of a cartoon dog nose. Okay, and then I'm going to do a small sort of rectangle just in there. And then another circle on the inside. I'm going to do a pupil inside there and then we're going to bring a line going across and down. Then I'm going to do a couple of creases and then circle a line round and under and then another one like that just going round it. And then do another pupil just in there. And then I think I'll do a line going up and then a zigzag bringing it down to there. Let's do a couple of little circles up here. We'll paint it, make him sort of part mechanical so it's a bit steampunky and do a line going down another line going down to there another one down like that and now here I'm gonna do a sort of upside down V shape like that and then a couple of these little zigzags round like that to make a chin. And then out and down, out and down. And to carry on making that mechanical side, I'll bring a line down the side here and then run some little bolt marks going up the side like that. Now I'm bringing another line going over. And then I'm going to do a line going up like this. You can curve that down and around. And then another one going this way. So we're going to go across like this. A couple of little zigzags. And then two line, or three lines in there. So one there, one there, one there. Make that same that side, go up, down and out slightly, a couple of little zigzags, back up and over, and then two lines there. Now what I'm going to do is, now I've got a head shape there, make a sort of hat on top. So let's bring a line out and down and over. And then on top of there, we're going to do the classic steampunk goggles. So two big circles, just poking behind the brim of that hat there. 
and then another circle on the inside. And then we're going to do two circles, so one there and one there. And then a smaller one, one there, one there. And then what we can do is shade in this darker patch here. Bear with me, it doesn't make for a very exciting viewing if you're just watching, but uh, finishes it off. Okay, now we've got that, I'm going to do a little sort of stick coming out of there, and then another one, and then just behind there to another line. And then, as it's a dog, I'm going to do a circular bit like that. And the same, like he's got a bone sticking out of his hat. Now just above this goggle part here, I'm going to do two small rectangles. And then bring a line up behind. Bring that over and down to there. And then go across the top, put a little indent over there and down and then we're going to put a few lines just going behind there to join up those goggles and for good measure a little circle on there as well now i'm going to bring put a big circle there big one there and a line down and then another little circle on the inside And then maybe a few lines going down there just to give it a bit of a pattern. The key to steampunk things is putting lots of little details and unique little parts on there. Then we'll do another line going over, down and up. Over, down and up. And then uh, maybe a little rectangle shape there he's made out of bits of machinery now I've got that I'm going to do a line going down across up down across and up and then another one inside just following that line I've just done and then I'll do a circle there and another circle inside and then we're going to do a collar coming up and around and around there like that and then do a couple of circles on this collar and then the back of a big sort of coat collar coming down the back so just down like that. I'm going to come past, do a line in and down. Past, do a line in and down like that. And then we'll do another circle there. Another one around the outside. And then a little line joining up with a zigzaggy line underneath. And follow that collar around like we did with this part and the same round there and we'll do four buttons down here so one two three four and then do smaller circles inside And then I'm going to bring that across, over and up, across, over and up. And then let's do some more lines like this. Get some crease in this jacket and then follow that up, follow that up. I'm going to 
I'll join these lines up here just to put some different details on his coat maybe some little squares going up the side like that and on this side and another zigzaggy line follow up like that so it looks like he's got little chains on his jacket do on this side a shoulder and another shoulder and a shoulder with another shoulder there now just to this left hand side I'm going to put some sort of bean shaped marks three of those and another one there not a complete one should have said that <laughs> and then behind here I'm going to do this rectangle, like he's holding a cane there, and then we can join that part up, and then we're going to go up and down, another little rectangle, and then a circle, and we can put another circle on top, and then we can bring this down down to there and then put a small rectangle on the bottom with another one underneath now down here I'm going to do two lines and another line following and then just one thinking of it to finish that arm off to a line down here and across down there and across to make his cuff of his jacket and then a line down and a line up and then across over on this side the line going down line going across another one going across and then up and then back in there and we'll put a couple of little buttons and little buttons there as well and then we'll curve a line over around and up and then do a line down and down and then another one down and one down and then curve a line across then we're going to do a line out and down join that up then go down and up and join that up and then a line down there line down there line across joining it same there and then we're going to bring this shoe over and the same this side then we can put a couple of little rectangles to make the shoe fastenings and then a very small line and across there to make the sole of his shoe No dog would be complete without a tail, so I'm going to do a line coming out and over like that. And then out and over like that. And then we do a little bushy bit on the bottom there. And a few little marks. I say no dog would be complete without a tail. Lots of dogs don't have tails. <laughs> I'm not being uh, <laughs> offensive to them. Sorry, dogs. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do. I think this jacket's a bit short, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some other bits coming out underneath. So I'm going to line down the back. I'm going to line down the back of there. And then a line down here to there. And then a wiggly line coming back. I'll bring another line down there and then do a wiggly line coming back there. 
just makes it look a bit more impressive. And then I'm going to do a small rectangle there, maybe a little square on that side. Do a couple of stitch marks. Oh, bear with me, how professional. And then another rectangle there. And then just some lines going up. And the same coming down that side. Then a little couple of little lines for a touch of the ground there. And a few circles for stones. I might just put a couple of little bolts on his ear maybe. just for good measure like I said it's just about these silly little details and I've just noticed I haven't followed the collar there either so I'm going to do another line following up around the back and up around the back there and basically there you have a steampunk dog <laughs> 